In honor of our ancestors and this land and everyone here tonight, I'm going to share some poetry with you tonight to welcome you to the land. So please open your hearts and your minds to understand. I'm really happy as a Kwakwakiwak woman from the Tlaoitsis tribe that they have allowed me to do this work that I do on a regular basis at Co-op Radio. I've done programming at Co-op Radio for 30 years, since 1986. I never had a dream uh, to do with radio. Like, I, it wasn't a thought of mine before Ganarji invite us, invited us on the show, and I love it. So. Why did I even get into radio? I guess it was for things like this specifically, the fact that we can connect each other through our voices, that you can get people who may not have a chance to say what they want to say. Three things that Co-op Radio can do for you. One is we have recording studios. As a member, learn how to produce your own podcast. Join a radio collective. And we have 90 shows going on. There's plenty of shows. There's a show for everyone at Co-op Radio. The third thing you can do is help support hyper-local community content. Donations through your time, through in-kind, through volunteering, through your energy. We're talking about filling that space with culture, identity, and heritage to help our communities to become aware of each other. By hearing us, we are no longer invisible, which is really strange, you know, but it works. I want to thank everyone for coming. Our sponsor, the Aviva Community Fund that helped us put on this event tonight.